I didn't shop. Hello. But we just went to a mask. I didn't shop. Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me, my toy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I was muted in OBS. <laughs> Yay! But yeah, we never oh, really boy. discussed it, but Tommy has a um, a little toy that makes him have advantage on saving throws against being frightened. Nice. I couldn't think of anything that Tommy would actually legitimately do because, let us face it, my greatest weakness is that I am not allowed to use any of my usual knowledge. <laughs> yep. Which hurts. Although, on so many levels. Yeah. I have to hold back my other impulses and just choose to be dumb. <laughs> not fair. This is why I like wizards. You can be stupid and reckless. But I'm so smart. <laughs> eh. Ooh, I feel pain. It smells like strawberries. Anyway, are we ready to begin the game? <laughs> oh, fucking boy. Here we go. Man, I remember I had to reacquaint myself with like, all my fucking features again. And I currently coughed a little bit. Because something can get out of my chest a little bit, so. <laughs> we actually have a full party this time, which is really nice. Yeah. Well, thankfully, right now, I'm currently, uh, Percy's underwater right now because Bart. Yeah. <laughs> he's become Ariel. No, he's become Sebastian oh. because he's oh. the one who sinks under the sea. Yeah, but I kind of want the da, 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 Exactly. I was about to say copyright. Thank you for getting it. I kind of just Again, to finish the whole line. That's why I said copyright. So when... <laughs> you can't copyright if it's not the whole song. Dang, you, you can't recommend copyright it. the music if everyone sucks at it. The quote? I have a world full of lots of shit. We can't Sorry. sing for crap because we suck at this song so much. <laughs> <laughs> but to quote ourselves from Ravnica, dang you fucking Disney. Correction, it was just straight up damn you Disney. Yeah. Thanks, damn you Disney! <laughs> <laughs> the timing was so perfect on that. Yeah. Damn you Disney! <laughs> the, the timing was just beautiful. Let's yeah. just say that we love Disney, but we also hate it. It's yeah. much like, uh, it's well, like here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We love Disney creative. We love Disney creative. We hate Disney corporate. Yes, Disney corporate is evil. Disney creative is good. Yes, we do good. Agreed. I appreciate the Owl House in all of its glory. Too bad it got shut down. I what are you know. talking about season two? Bad. Oh, what are you talking about? See, season two did get continued. What? There's a season two. Yeah, but it, but it, season two was vastly like squished down because it had gotten canceled, and so it's like you get one more season. Time to put all of your plans into that one season. Yeah, but I still like the show. I'm so although I'm still waiting for access to watching the last bit. Anyway, but I like it. I still like the show. Anyway, show. we are back to D and D, and so that is what we will play. Okay, back to being stupid. All right, I will right, stop posting more fucking <clears throat> more of the same magic shit. Back to D and D. Let's do this. Last time right. on Family Memories, the party continued their travels after stopping the cult of the border guard, and along I with our battery sympathy. Sorry. Along with the their new wizard friend Adam, um, they encountered another Chaos Elemental, but Lima was able to establish a connection, and this Elemental explained that they believed that they were Lima's twin. Uh, they then left. Afterwards, the party continued on and eventually reached the rift 
with Neil Harker. And we had to cut the episode short because we did not have Tommy, but now we do have Tommy, so... Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to Blinky? Blinky? <laughs> the, spi the spider is still being trained. Yeah, exactly. Spiders are being trained, so don't worry about them. Oh, okay, so... wait, hold on. I have, to, I have to rename things in my inventory. I still have my lizard named as Blinky. <laughs> Aaron. Yeah, not that name anymore, kid. I'm Tony. <laughs> Tony! Tony! I have all the friends, but also I keep getting killed. You know, I'm just so glad that the Antioch Bart train decided to arrive as soon as I got down to the terminal. Mm. Mm. Yes. That mean, I didn't yes. have that to wait. timing. Right? Good time. Yeah. I should be home in about maybe another half hour. Nice. Test, test me! Test me! Why did you do this to me? Anyway. What? Tommy. I'm just scrolling through my character info and I look under other and it just randomly says hugs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how do you all react to coming to meet with Neil Harker? My said, I left off last time where Dima said, we need to talk, Neil Harker. Well, first I'd like to give Tommy the floor. Yep. Demands immediate hug. He hugs you. Good to see you. Tommy does not let go. All right, Tommy. Doug's gone on for long enough. Two more seconds. Two more seconds. All right, it's been two seconds. Okay. You have to slow time just to make it last longer. <laughs> well, Greatest use of time freeze. <laughs> pleasure to meet you all again. Oh, and Adam, glad to see you could make it to Zell. Yes, uh... Why is it you requested me here? Oh, well, in particular, because we don't want to put the boy at risk, and he'll gesture to Frederick. Uh, if you could watch him over here. Understood. Uh, if that's okay. Uh, Frederick, will, Frederick will just... Uh, I mean, is it dangerous in there? I've been through oh, some yes, pretty... Oh yes, you will definitely die if you go in there. Imagine oh. a blender, but if it was also on fire and also wet, then it exploded, then it regenerated, then it turned into acid, and then it's your mom, and then it exploded again. I don't know what a blender is, but I think I'll stay here. <laughs> I, 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 th I think it's kind of like a square with lots of knives in it. I think I'll stay here. I don't know how often it actually right. explodes. So, remind me again, why are we here? The rift is a very potent source of magical energy. I thought I could use it in a ritual. What? Are you sure it's a good idea? <laughs> This can only end well, theoretically. It's wild I magic. The last it's... Time... Mommy told me stories of the last time someone tried to bring order to chaos. I'm not trying to bring order to chaos. I'm using the chaos as energy. Much like how resurrection rituals use diamonds. But... Tommy is conflicted and doesn't know what to do. But but this enough, but this is enough power, a power <laughs> that similar to a lesser idol, I could use it. Zuko just kind of stop, like widen eyes at the idea of a lesser idol. Zuko, you could roll Arcana check to see if this would work. Uh, okay, Arcana is plus five. Do I get a bonus for the mention of a lesser idol? 
No. Yeah, I don't know. It, the, his math seems like it'll work, but you're not sure. It's basically like you haven't done the research yourself to fact check him. Um, I kind of want to roll one more time, but you have to use inspiration for that. Uh, you can use your inspiration to get a second roll, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh! oh! Theoretically, theoretically, this would work. But it's um, all theoretical. No one has ever tried this. No one I'm has ever tried. I'm honestly contemplating trying to, you know, run a counter spell, but I don't have counter spell. Yeah, it becomes weirdly more necessary when you're. Do you realize how often you rely on counter spell as a spellcaster when you're a warlock? You will really begin to realize it. <laughs> Having it in your arsenal feels so compulsive. Yep. Like mage armor. But anyway, uh. I'm just kind of looking to the rest of the party, looking at them like, I don't know really what this. Is. I looked at Tommy with a slightly, like, not sure face of I don't I think you're right I think you should stop him but without actually saying it you show basically concern in your eyes and Zuko usually is very emotionless in his expression uh can I ask who all have... has proficiency in the religion skill that would be me this is just gonna be for um this is just something I need to know for uh if something comes up that would be me. Does... I have plus three in religion. Can I help? I am a paladin. If I did not have religion, I would be a very poor paladin. Uh, this is not a check right now. I just want to know who has proficiency in religion. I have it too. I have proficiency. Okay. Well yes. then, uh, shall we head in to begin? Uh, I'd like to talk to you first, though, Milhaka, and... See if somebody new I know shows up to talk to you as well, hopefully. If you don't mind. Uh, yes. What about? So, you know about my pocket watch, right? Let me just roll a check because he's not been involved himself in the thing. Fifteen? Vaguely. Well... Turns out it became sentient, and it's also now an elemental. It thinks of me as their sibling, and it would die if the whole entire rift vanished. I mean, it's an elemental. An elemental who's sentient things and talks. I understand your concern. But it's, it's, it's chaos magic. It's wild magic. It's wild magic. You yourself are afraid of this. I might be terrified of it, but a meal is innocent and I would like a way for them to be stable and alive. And I don't know if it's possible at all to make sure they don't die if we do this. I don't want a sentient being who's innocent and hasn't done anything wrong yet just to get snuffed out. It would be a little bit too much right now, you know? I know you want your wife back. I... I understand the grief and loss and how it tears away at your soul. For I have felt it myself. And if but, you could remove this rift right now with the information you have and bring back everyone you lost, would, that, would you not do that in a heartbeat? Past me said would have said yes, but it's busy. It's busy. 
the trolley pole wouldn't really exist in this world, would it? What does? The trolley problem. No. Where you have because trolleys do not exist. I mean, a philosophical quandary in a similar sense might. Yes, Someone a, philosoph a philosophical, philosophical quandary might exist, but the trolley problem in particular doesn't. Uh, can I, I roll a intelligence check to find a similar... You don't even have, you don't have to reference a quandary. You can just say, I wouldn't give one life to save... I, I don't know if I would give one life to save multiple people. You don't have to reference a specific thing. <laughs> you can just say the yeah, the thing true, true. itself. You can allude to it. You can reference it. Like, allude to the idea. Help make your own version of it if you want. Yeah, because it, it's at the end of the day, it's an idea. Yeah, like, literally, I made Neil Harker based off a mixture between, like, fucking multiple gothic work. Gotcha. I don't know if I personally would... Stop to save multiple people or just a single person at times. It's almost like you have the option of saving one burning castle filled with many servants or a building that holds a noble. Sure, one might save a lot more lives, but another one can give you a lot more favor. That makes sense. Favors? That's why you want to save this elemental? A no, elemental of it's, it's chaos. A... If I remember I correctly as well from the reports, if an elemental... I'm mistaken, if I'm... If I'm not... What Lima is trying to allude to is that... This is somebody that is connected to her. She doesn't know if she wants to quite get rid of it. Am I close to this, Lima? You're very close to it, yes. Well then, so. let us meet yeah. this Emil you speak of. Should I roll something to kind of get or something? I don't know. How do I do this? I mean, you can try rolling inside if you don't quite believe him. Uh, I'm no, I meant like, roll I meant, inside. I meant, to, like, I meant like for me to roll to find a meal so they can talk. Hopefully. Not at this moment. You are in a spot. If they are here, they would make themselves known. But they have not made themselves known yet. Exactly. Oh god, this is definitely a point of tension. Yeah, and that... admittedly, this is one of the small amount of times where Tommy can't think of some bullshit philosophical stuff to save the situation. I, he is in way I got too... no insight. I can't figure Neil Harker yeah, out. Hard to read. I'll try roll inside. I won't get it at all. Tommy wishes to pray. Okay, I'm yeah. just going to be quiet over the whole thing. Zuko's just quietly observing. Well then, mm -hmm. shall we begin? It's about five miles to the center. If they don't show if up to so the kill you, I should, I guess, suppose. I, I, I suppose to. Le Lima's. Yeah, Lima's looking down. Absolutely distraught. And they... They understand what's at stake and understand how de desperate Neil is, so... I don't think I'll be able to heal anybody if you get hurt from this. Might be beyond my expertise. But let's hope for the best. Tommy wishes to commune and pray to his god while they, we are traveling. Uh, <laughs> are you just praying or are you casting commune or something like it? Wait, I, oh yeah, hold on. I should check actually if I can do that. I, I forget paladins do have other spells besides healing and bashing people in the face. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I, I will let you change out your spells since you have had a few long rests, so if you want to swap in Commune, I'll let you do that yeah, now. Yeah, because I could see myself honestly using, getting more mileage out of those spells now, yeah. just because if I'm not going to be fighting much, I sure as hell may as well actually do some stuff in advance. It, it, uh, okay. I, I'd like to specify if you can swap in Commune, because I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it's um, a second level spell. yes. Every, I can do it at the end. Oh, let's see. Well, Let we, you, you've had, you've had, you, you've had long rests on the road. I'll let you swap it in since, like, it, we'll, we'll say that you and did it the day before. Also, technically, anyway, when it comes to, like, using, uh, when it comes to using abilities such as that, generally, they tend to be about the weird nature of Paladin spells is you're literally, essentially, prepping your spells in the form of praying for certain things that day. Yeah, so um, I, I, it, it would be reasonable that Tommy would have prepped Commune, especially since you. My problem you... is I'm not high enough level for that. That's more of a player. So. Yeah, likely like, enough. I think Zuko might actually make a, a small, like, silent prayer to a to his god, which is the I, the idol. All right. Um, so oh boy, a lot of praying. He's just kind of just very quietly like holding his together, closing his eyes, just kind of saying like, this one blood might die. I do have a feeling in the I'd future, like them to Tommy, live for now. Tommy is slow, you know, slowly but surely that warlocking is starting to become tempting for Tommy. <laughs> I'm just gonna oh. kind of say, um, like, Zuko is kind of just very quietly speaking in Draconic. Um, and I'm going to roll religion to see if, like, I'm not sure if the patron can actually hear him. Uh, but I not mean, the, actually, like, that that's faith for you. I'm you won't, sure you don't you know. Can, if... and, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can direct link with the patron at any time, no? No. Pa patron speaks when patron wants to speak. <laughs> I'm just going to. Yeah, gonna, basically, oh, it's it not you call like, them, basic... he calls you. Yeah. I'm just gonna make a note to them, but they're probably not gonna, you know, act on it, or they're just gonna hear it. But it's gonna be like red message. <laughs> I mean, I mean that actually responding. I mean, that's that's faith. You don't know if you're being heard or not. Bingo, philosophy 101. Yep. I'm just Tommy's gonna roll gonna religion just... just as I say the prayer. Uh, religion, it, it's religion gonna... as a skill is more your knowledge of religion. It is less yeah. your faith and more how much you know about. Religious I'm practices. just basically making a um, note to the patron that loosely translates to as much as I know these warm bloods are going to die painfully later, I would like them not to. Alright. Um, Let's see. Uh, no, I do not have any spells for community of God. I'm just gonna then just do a simple prayer. Hey, Sam. Yes? Uh, the reason I ask is because uh, uh, my other DM, he, he actually runs it that way. That the patron and the warlocks have a direct link. Fair enough. I just um, it's just it kind of like, like, like <laughs> it, it's just a kind of um, thing. Just so warlocks don't have too much over clerics and paladins and other faith classes. Yeah. Just just the way I'm running. It. Oh, well, the cloak of wise drow from Oblivion. Sure, the Daedra re give results. They're not necessarily good ones. <laughs> anyway, do you all gone. proceed into the rift? Tommy makes a quick prayer while that happens. <laughs> I, first, I first look at uh, Frederick to see if, if he feels comfortable going in or not. Uh, he is not comfortable going in. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, we'll we did we'll literally describe it as a picture. You don't have to go. Uh, you can stay with Adam. It's why I came along, apparently. Don't worry, I'm a powerful spellcaster. And the, and the boy has been training a little bit, so he knows how to defend himself. Oh. Well then, we'll have to see where that training gets you. Uh, I guess so. Before yeah, Lima goes... Before Lima goes... I said he knows enough. Uh, I'm just gonna make a through... quick roll, preemptive roll. Okay. 
Before Lim goes into the rift right. themselves, they are gonna kinda suddenly look outward. And she's gonna take out one of her their coins and place it on the ground. Before they place it down, they write down Mill's name and puts it right in the middle of which coin letter. Which coin huh? do you leave? Is it your holy symbol or is it your coin of destiny? Coin of destiny, I'm putting it down and putting all right. I'm using the coin of destiny also to write down the word a meal and putting it down on the word. All right. I hope you get then... this. You got me soon. All right. As you proceed in, um, I'm gonna take off the the silver knuckle dusters, and I'm gonna be like, um, here, take these. You could probably use them. Frederick. Moving, right. in, moving the coin into the component pouch because it's not technically my inventory anymore, so there we go. They're they're a bit big on him, but uh but he he can probably use them in a if he needs to. Yeah. Ami is kinda just in the mo uh, state of self contemplation of Basically, for once, actually considering the ramifications of his actions and what could possibly happen if he doesn't act. All right. At that, we proceed. And in a weird way, kind of can understand what Lima's getting at. At that, we will proceed into the rift proper. It's actually before we enter. Oh. I kind of uh, stop and just tap on uh, Tommy's shoulder for a second. Are you? And then I just kind of like usher him over, like, "Can you come here for a second? Does Tommy answer? Tommy simply responds with, "How many people are like me?" might be one of the million, for all I know. But, I'll ask you once. You seem very hesitant about this entire thing. If you want, I could try to stop him. But it's your choice. I've always been told magic can be wild. But, it can think. Is that no better than hurting someone else? I can't tell you. The only thing I'll ask is, do you want me to stand up for starting this ritual? I... I don't know. It's not a very easy decision, and I know sabotaging has a lot of ramifications. That's why I had to ask you if you want me to stop him. On top of that, this may in turn save your father. Or possibly destroying himself in the process, so that's why I'm giving you the choice. Because if anyone have, could have had to make a decision, it could be you. Would you like to try well, and think. save him from himself? Or would you like I will to just let him go through? Because we, our time is running low. He is nearly almost in the rift. If, if people start hurting, do you want me to stop him? I may end up paralyzing your father slightly, but I hope that's okay. It means that no one has to die. Of course. I'll, I'll admit, do everything I can to save his life. I'll admit, the last couple of days, that first fight with them, I felt awful. It was like I'm, I attacked I'm, one of my own people. 
Sometimes we're not given a choice. Mommy always said that golems were made from them. This is true. And after Lima talked to them, I started wondering. What am I made from? We may not have the answer until later, Tom. Let's am, try to save your dad. Am I yeah. no different? And if that's it, would would I even matter? Tommy. Zuko just kind of, for once, actually tries to listen and actually grab him by the shoulders. Despite being so aloof, this is the one time he's being good. <laughs> Look. What? Listen to me carefully. You can wallow in misery and self-doubt as soon as we live through this. I promise. You'll have time for it. But I think right now, if you're really sure about this, we should try to save his life. You want him to live, yes? That's what mommy would want. But let's go fulfill your mama's wish. Yes. Now, I apologize in advance if the spell I might use to interrupt your father might hurt him severely, but it will ensure he lives. You I'll have my word as a, med as a medical practitioner. Only if he hurts people. If people oh. start hurting, then we have to stop it. I understand. I don't ask this very lightly, and I know you want to save people. But if it means having to stop and sabotage your father, that is why I have it. It is not an easy thing to do. And even I am not too happy about this. But, like you said, people can get hurt in that rift. I now, have an idea if it needs to come down to it. Well, all I'm prepared to do is to sabotage your father mid-spell to stop the effect. But if you have any other ideas, I'm listening. I'll try to. I just don't want to have to use it if it comes up. And it scares well, me. Well, I'll tell you this. Despite our differences, I'm with you all the way here. Tommy hands you the plushie. What is this? You'll know what's up. Can right I now... do I have to roll Arcana or anything for it? <laughs> Out of character? It's a ragdoll wizard plushie. Ah, uh, you can try to you, you did notice that he picked it up from the magic shop and that I'm he paid about arcana. he paid about 50 gold for this thing so i'm gonna roll arcane now just so i know what it is all right 17 17 uh it is a plushie that makes it that helps you stop not be afraid of things it instills you with courage I don't think I should hold on to this. I have reasons. Just keep I... it safe. Very well. Just understand, this is not an easy thing that I offer. Sabotaging isn't really my favorite thing to do. I'll try my way first. If it comes down to it, we'll do what we have to do. There's none. He just kind of catches up with the other two, looking at uh, Tommy with a very kind of solemn look. Tommy. And a nod. Tommy begins to kind of grit his fingers and think to himself. I hope they can hear me. If they do. Yes, do I. I have a very 
selfish request. And uh, as we right now are in the eye of the storm in this case, uh, you are. It's not the eye of the storm. You're just heading into the storm. So we're not Tell quite me. in the exact middle. No, it as is five traveling... miles to the center of the rift. As we're going in, I wish to do some little pre prep. All right. As we get closer. Damn. It will take you about, with five miles, that is going to be about two and a half hours. That's enough for a short rest. Anyone need a song of healing? You've all recently taken a long rest, so you are all... All my spell slots rest. are back. Yep. And spell points. Well, yep. Some of them, at least. Uh, I've got okay. all mine back, I believe. Which is enough to do the hard thing I'm planning. As we get closer to like the last little leg of the journey, so that way I can get well, some mileage out of this, well, I'm about, going to I'm... cast Bless on me, Zuko. Well, but before you do that, because I have something about an hour into the journey. Okay. Oh. oh. Plus, also setting the scene, because what you notice from the outside of the rift is a wall, not necessarily a wall, but the air shimmers multicolored, all the colors flowing and shimmering and fading, and then the grass as well is multicolored. You see some trees in the distance, their leaves are strangely colored, and as soon as you enter, so is the sky. I'm sorry, are those leaves blue? They are blue, they are red, pink, all the colors. Mm. And it's strange because there is almost like there is no ambient sound here. You don't hear the wind even though you feel it. You can see it rustling, rustling the trees, but you don't hear the rustle. This is a very strange place. About an hour in, Lima, you hear yes. in your head, Why weren't you honest with me? Lima responds, I didn't want you to get hurt. Get hurt? You knew. You knew, and you still didn't give me the decency to tell me? <laughs> you did slip up. <sighs> it would have been better if you just told me. You don't lie to people you care about. But I guess that just proves you don't I... care about me, doesn't it? I do care about you. Just this is all still near to me. I Lehman sends the thoughts of they didn't know they were sentient until they met that day. That they do care. Just and I know, but you still could have given me the decency to say so then, instead of letting me still believe. Sorry. Lima falls to their knees in the rift, crying. Sorry. Does anyone react to this? Because Neil Harker is just going to continue forward. Yeah, Kron will go over to Lima and be like, Are you okay? Come on. I'm gonna focus my eyes on. I'm just gonna keep my gaze focused on Neil Harker, but also occasionally look to Tommy with a very kind of heavy, solemn look like, Are you really sure about this? I have a question. Mm hmm. When you met your deity, 
how did you contact them? It's complicated. But was it in an act of desperation? Zuko, would you like to know the details of how you formed your pact? Yes, and I might, debating, depending on my, yeah, that, what it is, I might make deception roll. You remember the day your pact was formed. It was not really something you chose, or that you were chosen. It was a ritual of... It was a coming-of-age ritual. And you were given your powers. The powers that you call upon the, your deity for, those of your own persuasion, are very much your own. I do remember that day. Fae, you were but I guess the Dripping Fang's Fae origin works in its favor. I, I would just like to respecify that the. Fae is more speaking to the power set than the deity's actual origins. That's fair. So I imagine it was like a ritual, like, actually having, like, a drop of the venom kind of dropped on him or something, or what? If you'd like it to be that, then yes. It would probably be, like, some kind of weird, like, ritualistic dance or whatever around and right when there'd be like the guy the guy is just kind of standing in a circle with like the one shaman or something kind of holding the bull and he kind of has to bow his head and i imagine it's very not a very pleasant sensation to feel having it literally like dripped on you indeed i mean it would be like having liquid mustard gas dropped on you <laughs> dripped on you so i imagine the pain scale is kind of similar uh, or like having a liquid bee sting. Uh, venom itself probably wouldn't sting too much because it is just a liquid. Venom injected inside, if yeah. it enters the bloodstream or anything, that will trigger the uh, pain response. It, it Venom itself is painful, trust me. It, it, I've done it, so much research. It needs to be injected, but I think if it's just poured on you, unless you have an open wound, it's fine. I, I, more I'm just going to argue that it's probably potent enough to hurt on the skin. Probably. Because we're talking, like, Here. probably ritualistic venom. Yeah, if it's, it's ritualistic venom, venom, then yes. Probably it's so potent that it probably hurts on the skin, but it's kind of probably necessary, and that's probably why there might be some marks or something on Zuko's real form, but it's all hidden due to his disguise. But I imagine it was a very painful ritual. So what do you tell Tommy? It was a very painful experience as I roll deception, telling half the truth. In sight. 25. 10. Okay. Do you I'm... think if you were desperate enough, they would also call? I know not if they would choose to help me here, per se. But if something was as strong as them, do you think they would hear you if you had something connected to them? I would sincerely hope so. Just a reminder that Tommy is on a robot horse for all of this. Well, Tommy is yeah. looking at the clockwork amulet. Me, Ma. Oh, so, yes. And I see when we were given this, this thing, this little cock, it felt familiar. I can be hearing in my head lights. They talk to me sometimes. 
I think this might be connected to one of them. Actually, last would have been 20. Oh, uh, yeah, never mind. Do you think they would hear me if I were to use it? I'm sure they would, but I'm not sure, honestly. I've not had to rely on divinity for much. Would you say to... Tommy is fluent enough in religion to understand the concept of Mechanicus? I would say, um, uh, are, are you, uh, could you just, um, rephrase the question, because I'm not sure I fully understand. Do you think Tommy would know of Mechanicus? Uh, is, is that a deity in D&D lore, or is that the place? That is the god of order. Um, or more particularly, the plane of order. That in would... other words, what's the amulet? What the clockwork amulet gets its power from? Um, it given draws on the power of Mechanicus. Given the what we've dis... given what we've discussed about Tommy's um, religious beliefs, he would believe that he uh, uh, Mechanicus in this world is the living spark, and he uh, you've, you've talked about him already being a follower of the living spark. So yes, he would he would be knowledgeable, and he that is the figure he worships. Oh, do you think if it came down to it, he'd be willing to talk and help? I... Honestly, I'm just gonna say out of character. I, I mean, I guess maybe the Derby fan would revel in the idea of sabotage and deception. Indeed. But I'm not sure if they. Ne I guess should I say yes in this case? I wouldn't necessarily really think they would necessarily appear in a way to kind of you know cause suffering in a sense because then now it kind of blows your ghost cover but i'm just gonna probably answer i suppose yes they would indeed aid me if i desperately needed it so um, did you wait did you have to give something up when you got your power Mizuko pauses for a minute and remembers the painful, like, loss of innocence when the venom dripped on his face. And how his brothers had to hold him down as part of the ritual. And sisters. And siblings of... And sisters, of, too. And siblings Basically of... Basically a giant monkey dog pal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd say most of the siblings were doing the dancing to kind of do the communal part, while the strongest of them were holding Zuko down, while probably one of the sisters dripped the venom bowl on him in the ritualistic fashion. Probably it had a spout that looked like a fang, honestly. Which probably made it easier for it to, the floor to turn into a drip, drip, to make it more painful and slow each time. Which, honestly, when you think about it, that that is torturous. Like, it probably is like a, it's a, it's like a, you know, a pitcher, but the spout end kind of goes into a second cup that turn that cones into a fang that has a very tiny little hole at the end that causes everything that pours down into a little drip, 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 <laughs> which probably is the most terrible part of the ritual. Yep. Because they would have to, like, make sure to pour that very potent shit in there, and then very, have make sure, like, the rites are done and that the god is heard. So then, as the last part is poured, the drip, drip is kind of also a mixture of having to deal with the screams of the chosen and, you know... The try to drown it out with the song with the uh, chanting of everyone around it. I'll also like to say that um, Neil Harker is about like he's he's moved to about like 
while you guys have been talking, he's just kept walking with the same determination. I kind of tried to keep up while walking with Tommy. Okay, to so, you, so you and Tommy have tried to keep up. Lima and Arkron, I'd like to cut to you two now. Lima. Like you saw inside the uh, chat, chat box there. Yeah. They're just okay. heaving and just gripping onto their arm tighter and tighter and tighter until the arm starts to bleed and <laughs> I'm going to smack Lima get a hold of yourself I can't believe I've had to do this the second time already I don't like hitting females okay Look, I know what you're going through is very, very, very traumatic. Okay. okay, and I can't fathom to understand what you are going through. But right now, we need to do something. Otherwise, I fear a bigger mistake will be on the line. Camille. If you cannot walk, he will drop down on his knee and legit put like basically the, like pop on my back. Luma stands up. I just talked to Emil. And? I made a mistake. That's all I know. Okay. You've made a mistake. Pretty sure a small one. No. no. It, it, it ain't small. Lima? Trust me when I say this. What's about to happen is going to be a bigger mistake. If we don't hurry. Narrow athletics checks for Lima running like a bat to hell to what used to be their home as fast as they possibly can. I would probably require a, a, a post athletics check from Presley, but right. I would say if you want to run, then you run. And Arkron, what are you doing at Lima running? Is Lima running in the direction of where Neil Harker is running or going? I'm he's, guessing. He's going towards the center of the rift. And Tommy asks. Zuko, one last thing. Uh, so I may, may elaborate why I'm asking to roll athletics. I'm asking because Lima's running with all of their life. I understand like, that. I I just have I have things in motion right now. Gotcha. Hey. Sorry. So I'm just gonna say this right now as kind of a bit of flavor, since I didn't never really flesh out Zuko's background. Yeah. Uh, at the mention of uh, the idea of betrayal, Zuko kind of remembered one painful part of the trials before he had to deal with the last part of the ritual of coming of age. Mm -hmm. Having to kind of ruin the plans of a close sibling of theirs to kind of gain high status, which includes kind of sabotaging his own sister. <laughs> which, oddly enough, was encouraged among their clan. Indeed it was. But Zuko took no pleasure in it, unlike most of his siblings, where they all were like, well done, she had it coming. He didn't necessarily feel like it. Like, even though sabotaging and deception were 
encouraged, in fact, wanted to be honed to perfection in my manner. He honestly felt like he was an asshole to her, and when he was about to try and cheer her up, they actually, scored him for it. Well, uh, before Lima can run, can I actually react and grab her arm? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I would say both of you roll me initiative to see if you can react quick enough to Lima just going off. Okay. I'm probably going to fail this. So, oh. three, two, okay. one. Give me a second. I have to go to a dice roller. Mm-hmm. Um, up. And I am adding a D8 to this. Ooh. Ooh. Um, for a total of um, can you check Archron's, uh, character sheet real quick? Yeah, that I can okay. do. He Just has a plus three initiative. Huh? Plus three. So that's a total of 24. You are able to catch really? Lima's arm before they run off. Lima. You said she's alive. Yes. They are sentient and alive. And then he's just gonna simply let go. You might be to continue to book it as hard as her their legs can take them. Look out when the time comes. I want you to help me talk to him. Arkron, do you catch Not up with dad. the Sorry. Sorry to interrupt yep. you. Just uh Arkron, do you mm -hmm. catch up with the group as well? Arkron's gonna Fall, is Archon's actually going to tail the group. Okay. Because right now, just... he's inside his own head. Alright. <coughs> I'll move you, you know what? accordingly. I just realized something. Cool. I'm going to do something out of nature desperation. So... Oh. When the this... time comes, I want you to help me talk to him. Not my dad. Not Again, looking dad. at the clockwork amulet. Lima, as you catch I up... I want your help making a pact. I'll oh. see what I can do. It's not an easy process, you understand. And I know. it's a painful one, I don't want any of them to get hurt. Lima is hurting. Luca just is kind of hurting. stands next, is just kind of walking next to Tommy, just kind of grabs him by like the forearm shoulder thing and just kind of is like trying to put a hand on the shoulder, but you know, he's on top of the horse. At that moment, Lima has caught up with you. And in that, you all hear cracking and just both the sounds of fire cracking and stones clattering together you hear wind rustling water flowing as in front of you i am not going to show because there's going to be way too much if i do so um but, uh about a dozen chaos elementals and then behind you all behind archron one that looked like how emil appeared before you all. Mm -hmm. Neil Harker will just go. He'll just kind of look to all of them. <sighs> well, damn. I can take care of them. You all should take care of the one behind us. And I will ask everyone to roll initiative. Before I we do of, so... Uh, before I do so... Sorry, but, uh, before we do so... May I quickly do magical awareness to see if the one right behind us is actually a meal? You, it's, the the elemental is too far away for you to do magical awareness, but you one, can sense two. because of your mental link that it's not. Okay, I, actually, magical awareness is actually 60 feet, so I went to the, but, okay, it's not, thank you. Hey Sam, can I ask a question? Yes. 
I just nat 20 my initiative. Ooh, nice. I got a five. So I'll ask my question when uh, set one is my turn. Okay. <clears throat> I got a five, so I got a... Yeah, just a five. As usual, Tommy is very small. Six. I'm not that quick. You're better than me. I kind of wanted to say, like, back when I remembered the uh, whole betrayal thing, like, probably the one thing that kind of got Zuko slowly to kind of want to become a medical practitioner and actually help people is because, unlike the majority of his kindred, he has the anomaly of compassion. All right, so don't worry about anything with uh, Neil Harker's token and below. That's just going to be automatically taken care of. I guess. Like, probably this crazy part about it, though, like, he probably did, like, help patch up his sister, and then he kind of realized, this is what I'm good at. I'm going to go traveling, but they're not going to need to know I'm a doctor. All right. So he just kind of, you know, left his siblings and whatnot. His handler didn't need to know that's what he's doing, but, you know... He just figured he's going to be a spy. I'm sure it's nothing. Arkron, you have the first move. The elemental is, um, like, two steps away from you. I... It's behind me, right? Yes. I'll turn around, and I'll be like, Emil, that's you. I the do want to talk. Sorry, the leaves will respond to you saying that that's not a meal. I can tell. It looks like them, but it ain't. That's the response. You're saying that. That's not. Sorry. So, this one's not going to talk then. Correct. Um. And at that, I am going to activate my Eldritch Claw tattoos. Ooh, at that activation, Presley, roll me a d100. Oh? Let me bring out the wild magic table. Nope, it's not wild magic table. I just need a oh, d100 roll. I have roll. a feeling that all of us at this point have some sort of weird spooky shit that's about to fucking help us in some way. I mean, I've admitted what's weird. going on. <laughs> I've admitted it before. Um, 87. 87. Damn. Uh, with an 87. Uh, roll, now roll me a d10. Okay. Eight. Eight. All right. You may now continue your turn. Oh, let me let me fix myself. Sorry. Okay, this is stressful. I don't know what happened there. Oh no. So what's up? Uh, what's going on? Uh, nothing that you would recognize. <laughs> nothing I would recognize. Yeah. Is it something happening to me or? It is nothing happening to you. Ah. Probably not yet. Probably not. Okay. Thank you. Um. Sorry about that, I was, um, just grabbing my <coughs> lunch. In and out? Um, I'm going to bonus action rage. I believe the claw is a bonus action to activate, or is it free action? It's bonus uh, action. Uh, is it bonus action? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Um, okay, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh, my bag 
a food, nearly fell off. Oh no! Chair, oh no! Onto the floor and nearly spilled all my fries. Oh no! Oh, oh, nearly. Good thing, good thing it was just a nearly. I all of them. <laughs> I'm just imagining like cartoon like quick time event, man. Quick time event. It's Yakuza. Down on the D-pad. If he fails, the first thing he will get frost. Mache to catch all the fries. First, um, I'm going to launch an attack from where I'm standing. All right. Roll to hit. Um, hit. Um, I'm gonna need my plus to hit, by the way. Uh, could, yeah. Okay, hold on. First, let me ask. Is its AC an 18 or lower? Mm, it is lower than 18. You hit. I just left a note in the campaign yeah. chat. I, I, I saw it. So, 18 or lower, I presume you got a natural 18, so you hit. Yes. Cool. That is um, D8 plus D6 plus strength mob, which I believe is 4. Yep. D8 plus D6 uh, plus 4 plus rage. Which is 2. Um, is 2, so 16. 16. Now, time to be 6. And see how this creature responds to the damage. It responds normally. Don't forget the force damage, too. Two different times. That was the D6. Down. Okay. <laughs> the elemental moves back from your hit off balance, but then it focuses in on you, bringing its warhammer forward. And I believe that is your full turn. Um, I'm going to action surge. Ooh. And then, wait, did it? What did it do? It just kind of reacted to your hit, and then it's gotten back in. It's it's gotten into a stance, into a. Um... Uh, okay. And then, obviously, from where I'm at, I'm going to grapple it. Uh. I'll just move you forward so that you can grapple it. So that... No, remember? I'll just call it that too. Oh, yeah. I forgot we, I We rolled that, that in increase in my grapple range as well. Yeah. Forgot about that. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is Contested Athletics. Uh, yes. Contested Athletics. Um, I have a plus seven, right? Uh, could someone else check that? Mm hmm? Can someone else check Arkron's athletics? My athletics modifier. Well, I'm moving over to it. Um, let's see. Our proficiency is at plus three not now, and what is your strength mod? Um, remember, I also have expertise. Yeah, so it'd be um, six. My strength mod is plus four. So it'd be uh, about ten. Plus ten. Yeah, yeah, it's a plus ten. 25. That's right. That's right. Forgot about 25. that. Twenty-five. 25? Yeah, you grapple this thing with the tendrils. Cool. Its speed becomes zero now. Lima, it is your turn. I'm going to quickly roll something to see if it's, this is going to be a 50-50 roll to see what they do. Okay, they're staying and fighting. Good, good. Lima raises their right arm, the one covered in scars, which is currently bleeding because of the death grip before. And I'm forgoing rolling to take a 10 to get an 18 for a rare frost. All right. 18 hits. Roll damage. And up. Well, actually, before I roll damage. Testing, testing. Can y'all hear me? Can hear you. Here. <laughs> uh, so, this is why I said hit. wait, because it got a six on its chaos armor. Meaning Ooh. you hit it right in the chest and it doesn't react. 
and the usage of my clockwork has been used. And I rolled minimum and lowest at the same time for that ray of frost. <laughs> oh, uh, too bad it didn't do anything. Next up, Neil Harker. He will cast a <laughs> leveled spell, which means... Oh no. Oh no. 59. Magical energy swarms around one random creature in the region for 24 hours. For the duration, the creature gains resistance to force damage and its speed is reduced by 10 feet. Let us see who this affects. On a 5, that affects... Lima. I was worried it was me. So, reduce speed... And resistance of force. Indeed. Right? Yep. Huh? Oh, yes, please. And then he will have defeated one of the elementals, which means another effect. 17. One random creature in the region that has expended spell slots regains one expended spell slot every random level. Uh, the way I will rule this is since he is the only one who has used a spell slot, he automatically regains it. Alright. Tommy is looking horrified at watching these creatures get destroyed. Next off is the elemental facing you all. Five, ten, and then it will... It be zero. Oh, right! Well then. Let's just see if it can reach Arkron with the Warhammer. For the first attack, it cannot. For the second attack, it cannot. Did For it miss? It's not even that it misses, it's that it doesn't have the range. It tries to swing at you, but... Ah. But it's 10 feet away. So I'm effectively keeping it at a bay from me. Yes. <laughs> However, with the third strike... Uh... It is still unable to hit you. Are you, like, rolling for its reach? Yes! Because this thing has randomly determined reach! Oh! Neat! Zuko, it is your turn. I take a deep breath thinking about a bunch of stuff as I pull out the, uh, I kind of want to say this for the rod Zuko's holding for flavor's sake. I kind of want it to be like the, you know, the, the doctrinary symbol that has like the snake around the rod? The, the Caduceus staff. staff. Or, oh yeah. That one. I kind of want it to be that for the sake of flavor. Um, okay. uh, the only okay. reason I'll veto it is because you bought it from a shop and you didn't make it yourself. That's fair. Well, so, what the, since you are the since you sold me it, what does it look like? It is uh, same way I described it when you bought it. Very ornate. It's made of gold. It has many gems uh, along it. Primarily rubies, onyx, sapphires, and um, uh, a light blue gem. I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, Alexandrite. Sure. But primarily those I'm four. I'm not an expert gem jeweler, but... Wait, wait, wait. What color? What was it? Uh, light blue. Light blue. Light blue? That's more like a... Almost like a... Uh, aquamarine. Okay, yeah. Aquamarine. I will... So it's just one that we're fighting? Yes, because... Neil Harker said, like, I'll take care of the ones down here. Hmm. I'm going to save that spell for a very important thing, so... Eldritch Blast! Roll to attack! my volley. Wait. Wait, hold on. I, I'm, I'm really the one that actually rolled above everybody. Cool. Oh. Even with the nat 20. You, oh. you just realized it? I just got... I just logged in to roll 20. There. I just realized I accidentally signed out. 
Hold on a second. No worries. Okay. So, with that in mind. 20, 20 plus, I believe I still have seven. Wait, is it seven with the rod? I believe the rod, if that's what's displayed on your attack, then the rod is added. Okay, I'm just checking. It says right now it's still seven, so... I double check in your inventory to see if the rod is equipped and attuned. It says equip. I mean, I hit I hit the square, so I think that means equip. I check down uh, at the bottom of your inventory to see if it's attuned. Uh, yes. Then it's included. Okay, good. So, plus seven. The first shot fires. Does a 21 hit? Uh, 21 would for sure hit. However, uh, armor of chaos. Okay, does that trigger That's a before five. I fire the second so it'll, shot? It'll take half damage. So, do I fire the second shot? Yes, go ahead, fire the second shot. The second shot fires and it's a 19. 19? Uh, yeah, that would hit its AC, so... Does it trigger your... again? Armor of Chaos triggers on every hit. So... However, this one is vulnerable, so roll both your damages. The first one will be half, the second will be doubled. Got it. Oh. So damage is 1d10 plus 3. I forgot to uh, do Wait, its AC armor, change. Armor of Chaos is a... Uh, um, uh, so 5 is halves to 3? Yes, and 9 First. is double to 18! So I just volley e two shots for about... Like one with kind of an arc shot and the other kind of a arc back into a straight like firing shot. So both hit their mark for about 21 damage. All right. I'm gonna try and conserve my energy for now. But this will do. Tommy, it is your turn. As Tommy witnesses his father destroy two of those elementals, Tommy Only one. finally feels a single tug at his heart. More clockwork heart. It's only focus. Let's go with that. And finally comes to a decision and says to himself, don't want anyone to do this. Zuko just kind of is listening, going, should I disengage to stop him? As he's now officially considered, he has made the decision to treat these creatures as if they were his own him. Like him. Created and not just accidents. If he was made with magic, and these things were made with magic, it'd be no better than letting his father commit genocide. The guy's just kind of aiming his rod away, just kind of has his back slightly. Tommy's just kind of trying to talk low to kind of only talk to him. Sam? Yes? How high of a perception check would I need to make a pact with the spark? That would have to come upon your next level up. And how much high of a percep how high of a persuasion check would it take? I want basically what I want Tommy to do is I want him to try and stop all this. I would I would say that any any type of class changing is going to take time. No, 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 no. I'm right. not asking to make a... I'm not okay. asking to change class. I'm asking to make a deal. Roll me... Well, actually. So... Yeah. 
I want to try to channel what item, uh, what creatures and items I have already from Mechanicus to try to make a deal. You... Similar to how people make deals with demons. Yeah. Mm. You search your soul. And you find something you have known your life. The cold metal of your exterior and despite that, the spark within. As you search your soul, you find something warmer than that spark. Something that you knew from your mother and from your father, but also that you've known from yourself the entire time. This is a decision changing what you were saying, but also working off of what we have said privately about Tommy's religion, that you do not contact the living spark. For once, Tommy realizes what he is actually worshipping, and he contacts and makes a deal with the Blessed Light. Sorry for that pause, I forgot the name of my own deity. <laughs> No, no, it's okay. Zuko just kind of holds up his rod and kind of makes a whispers to it, like, if it, if he wishes it so, please, Great Serpent, broker the deal so that he may succeed. You feel this connection to a light, not mechanical like your eyes, but bright like the sun or like a hearth fire. And you make your pact. You dedicate yourself to saving and helping others. No matter what form they take. Indeed. I need to protect them. What would I have to give up to help bring order to the rift so my dad can't use the magic and so that the others can live? Roll me either wisdom or charisma. Just straight charisma, right? Yes, this is just straight either wisdom or charisma. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. Uh, I meant the... Oh, wait, yeah, that is... Yeah, oh, wait, no, that's the... I actually rolled charisma say. My bad. Actually, dang, I realized I had a minor action I kind of wanted to do on my turn, but I already missed it. There we go. 22. 22. I kind of want to roll Bardic Inspiration for Tommy. With a 22, you're told... It is not your or my place to bring order to this place. In fact... Order is and the antithesis of this place. However, it can be saved by the one who caused it. That individual needs to seize their destiny. What would I have to give up to help them? What can I do? You just need to continue being yourself. That means I have to protect them. You do not hear any response, but you can feel a kind of like um, a approval and like was there any other way? I have to stop my dad. Or is there any other way? In, in, kind of is there any way, other way the in other regards... Elemental, just kind of still looking at Tommy like... Waiting if you needed to help. Yeah. I, 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 I know what you meant. Yeah. Tommy, do you have any action you want to do this turn? 
Let's see. What the actions I have? Tom waiting for an answer. I know what to do. Is it time? It is. I'm right behind you the whole way. Tommy is going to take his horse and get in front of his dad. Oh. I'm going to use Channel Divinity. Oh. Which option are you using? The one that I'm best at. Persuasion. All right. For one reason. Let's oh, see. by the way, don't worry, uh, Andrew. I played your character effectively last time. <laughs> Most, mostly healed and played bless. Used bless. I also did the channel divinity. Oh yeah. Channel divinity is a very good option. You I, I will say effective. I will say you will have to make your persuasion check next turn. But uh, and so at that is that your turn? Uh, I do say one thing to my dad first, as I am going to actively do this with every attack he does. I can't let you hurt these people. I've made up my mind. Mom died her own way. Mom would not appreciate any of this. If it, And if you killed these people, you're no do, doing no better than killing me. Hmm. Archron. I'm, done, DM. I'm uh, done hiding. Yes, what? Richard? Does Tommy saying any of those things kind of give Zuko any memory of his own mother, or does he not, still not remember much? You don't remember much. So, that's fair. It just kind of feels like he would remember something, but it's not there. Zuko just kind of notices that, but focuses on what Tommy's doing. Archron, your turn. <laughs> um... I will move in, and I will restrain. All right, grapple uh, check. Well, first, actually, actually, first, bonus action rage. <laughs> get that advantage. Bonus action I get rage. That sweet, sweet and advantage. now pin. Pin the elemental. Oh, 16. oh wait, no, it's a, wait, Sam, it's yeah? a bonus action. Uh, you... theory of peace is a bonus action. Okay, um, well, then I, I would say you used your action to make the pact, if that's okay. Okay. Barely just made it. Barely made it. This, this elemental's Barely. putting up a good fight where you touch turns to stone and it's hard to manipulate, but you're able to do so. Yeah, well, also, I, I feel for this low roll, Archron's still kind of second guessing right now all right um and while this visage is pinned down i am going to i know this is and archon's gonna be like i know this might be fruitless you look like a meal so i'm only going to guess that you're a visage i'm pretty sure you can hear me i hope I'm not here to hurt you. I am here to understand. Lima, as it goes to your turn, you'll hear in your head. <laughs> well, he's right about one thing. I can hear him. You know, Lima, if you're so sorry about all this, take it back. And it is now your turn. I like to that my whole entire turn to think back like they asked me to. They said they didn't say think back, they said take, take it back. back. Take back? Back what? Take it back. back. Take it back. The magic. Take back the magic. I, I don't know what that means. 
<laughs> Do you want to roll an Arcana check to try and understand? This would, I would say either straight Charisma or Arcana. Sounds like Arcana. For flavor's sake. 13. The magic came from you. That's all you'll get on the 13. Question. Yes. What do I need to roll to intercept in some of the magic? That will be a multi turn affair. I would like to begin that multi turn affair starting now. First and off, roll me. Roll me. Sorry, but may I clearly do some flavor yes. when they start doing this, though? So, Lima will sit down, hold on to the scarred arm, and focus on the cursed man, cursed man, cursed magical energy scarring on that arm to do this. Roll me your choice of a constitution or a charisma save. Eleven. You will take Roll me a D eight. That will determine the damage much like a uh Chaos Bolt. Yeah, Chaos Bolt. Seven. What is the damage on a seven? Seven on a Chaos Bolt is psychic. You take nine psychic damage. Ooh. And you feel the marks. Strangely enough, you feel the injury you just left heal up instantly, but the marks on your arm glow pink. As you feel a racking pain inside your head. Neil Harker's turn. turn. And he will stand in, in front of you, Tommy. What are you doing? I do realize I don't need to do to have a straight line. And behind you, Tommy, explosion. And we'll have another two unraveling magic effects. First off from the cast, 94. During the next 24 hours, the first time a creature in the region targets another creature with a spell, the caster must make a DC 11 saving throw using its spellcasting ability. On a failed save, the target takes the spell targets the caster instead. On a successful save, the spell functions normally. The effect then ends. And then a second as one of the elementals perishes. One, I'll need Someone to roll me a d10. I'll roll a d10. Yeah, I'm d10. Uh, I'll roll for you. That's two. No. Two. Tommy. You can cast the wish spell once <gasps> in the next 24 oh, hours. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Oh, cool. Ooh, <laughs> and I'm just gonna say, a one would have been Parker himself. Oh! oh. 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 Tommy can oh, cast can wish. Cast wish. You get it yeah, once. Wish. You get it once, and if you don't use it in the next 24 hours, it fails. You could you literally can do it. anything with it. You can, can wish back your mother. You could just resurrect your mother just through reality itself. Oh god. We now come to the elemental. Hey, what uh, uh, what happened is you got the ability to cast wish right now. 
Neil Harker okay. used a fireball because he didn't need to create a line for it. And the death of the elemental caused a wish effect. You have you can cast wish <laughs> once in the next twenty four hours. You can wish yeah. for anything, Tommy. And to do so would on would cause great pain. But also it'd save everyone. I can wish for anything. Yeah. So now it's the chaos visage. As yeah. I would like to call it. <laughs> uh huh. I mean to be fair, it's in the visage of a meal. It looks like how a meal appeared before you. But yeah. you are not. But that could be coincidental, since all of the other elementals look the same. Okay, but here's the thing. Remember, Archon yeah. doesn't understand magic. Uh, if, if Archon <laughs> comes to that conclusion, it's fine. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What is this thing's hints? Ah. <laughs> um. Also, I am not. Uh, I am not activating repost. Fair enough. I, I'm just doing this because I forgot top of its turn that its armor changes. Oh, come on! Why do these things only lose armor class? Times Chaos is about entropy. Yeah. The saddest thing in existence. Well, the way we can point for this right now, currently Dima's kind of sucking in some of the magic back into themselves, so that could be a reason. Zuko, your turn. I'm going to remember here Tommy's request and Zuko, despite being the scheming motherfucker he is, <laughs> he's going to be a man of his work. He turns around, backs away from the chaos elemental, and he's about to shoot at again. He turns to Neil Harker, looks at Tommy, nods. He holds up the rod and says, in his own draconic way, Great serpent, hear me once more, as I will invoke the words to stop my target in the with a word of pain, as I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on Neil Harker. Roll me a charisma save. All right, plus six, here we go. My charisma is plus six. Eighteen. Eighteen. Spell goes through normally. What does he say for hideous laughter? Uh, the save for Tasha's hideous laughter, which should interrupt. Wisdom. It's regardless. It's wisdom, and the save is. Uh. It would be proficiency 14. plus, yeah, proficiency plus spell casting modifier. So, and it should it, still interrupt Neil Harker. He rolls to 19 on his save. I have to help my aunt. Oh, wait, no. wait. I'm gonna have to help wait, the, the rod, the rod. The rod, I think he has to roll it again. Um, hopefully so. The rod, the rod is just. Effect. The rod, Thank you. you can use it to regain a warlock slot, but it does oh. not make him reroll. Damn. Actually, I can do something, but I'm, something I'm, I'm forgetting. Wait. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Hold on. Spell was cast. Lightning arcs in a five foot wide line between two creatures in the region that are within 30 feet of each other. Each creature in the line must make a DC 13 dexterity save or take 4d6 light damage. I am going to need all of you to roll me a d20. I'm heading to my car because I had to go and do, some, uh, go do something at the house at 1. Okay. So, Wait, I this need is a magical roll. effect, yes? This is... this is a wild magic effect. This is not a magical. Plus. This right here is not a magical effect. We are just rolling d20s to see who rolls the highest between 
everyone. Wow. Thirteen. I rolled a seven. And then rolling uh, for Tommy. Tommy rolled oh, a 20. Oh, not 20. Oh, shit. Zuko and Tommy both need to roll. Wait, what about the elemental? Uh. Oh, you already rolled for the elemental. Never mind. No, that was for Harker. Uh, oh. yeah, we'll roll for elemental. Seven. Okay. Yep, so it's still Tommy and Zuko. And shit. Neil Harker. Dexterity yeah. saves. <laughs> Um, does my magic resistance work here? This is... I would say this is a magical effect. So... I get advantage, so I still have a plus zero, but I get to roll twice and take the higher. Yep. Neil Harker rolled perfectly. Um... Andrew... Uh, what is Tommy's dexterity save, Andrew? If you know it off the top of your head, or, if, or could someone look it up? I can look it up. I'll look it up too. Eleven and eighteen. Do 18. I succeed on the second? You succeed on the save, but that means you'll take half damage. Um, for Tommy, it is a plus zero. Zero. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy's uh, Tommy's both three physical things. Not a, not a saving throw. Thing. Uh, that's a that sixteen a though, so that's a success. So everyone oh, succeeded. Because he's on his phone. Oh, so y'all take half damage? Neil Harker takes no damage because he got a nat 20. God damn, Neil Harker. That is 10 lightning damage, both you and Tommy. All right. I will take it, and I go to 23. Uh, All right. Um, I'll, I'll keep track of Tommy's hit points on my end. Power. I'll keep track of Tommy's hit points on my end. And on my second part of the spell, because I have one more act, mini action left, yes. I cast Bardic Inspiration on Tommy. Ooh, Tommy gets a Bardic Inspiration. So I roll? No, that that's when he does the thing, he'll get the bonus. Yeah. Tommy. No, he'll he'll add the your Bardic yeah. Inspiration when he rolls. It is your turn, Tommy. You can do your plan and persuade. Or, or do you the can witch. make a wish. Well, I have odd part expression, so whatever he wants, he gets a bonus. <laughs> well, wish will automatically go off. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. What Andrew? does Tommy choose to do? I think Tommy's still going. I think Andrew's still going to his car. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess mid-session check-in. How's it going for everyone? Good. Uh, I'm actually good. enjoying this. It was, I'm actually also liking the new direction they took Zuko. <laughs> very stressed. Very excited, though, because though we got a fucking wish so early on. I, uh... Oh. God damn. I mean, here's the thing. Either one of them... Marker. Either, like... Harker getting wished might have been the best thing, because he'd just be like, Oh, I don't have to go through this, okay. <laughs> so But it also uh, but it also may have been dangerous because he wouldn't think, oh, I can just do wish. He might have thought, oh, I don't need to do the ritual, but I can still bleh. <laughs> I can still do the plan, but without the ritual. Question. I kind of just did Tasha's hideous laughter just to see if I could stop Harker from trying to kill anybody. Yes, Tommy? So, the rules of wish, what are the limits? There are no limits. And I have to do the one thing that every geek in a horror movie involving a horrible wish item has never gotten to do. But what? Actually think out what the fuck I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is so true. But also, it's Tommy making the wish. Yes. Exactly. By the way, Andrew, I want to point out, you have bardic inspiration, so whatever you choose, you get inspired to do. Sure. <coughs> and also, uh, divine with my child divinity, it just uh, it fails way too fitting. 
Yeah. But anything else you want to do, you have a bonus to use. Yeah. So not just on the wish. I have to be very to careful how I phrase this. I am not going to be, I'm not going to do that. You. Oh yeah, no. That's, I'm going to be on your side like... with the wish. I'm that's not what, a genie. That's... I know. No, I'm just making sure I do it right this way. That's what I was about to say. I was like, thank God Sam isn't like any like other DM who are like genies with the wish. I, wait, you got a wish from oh, yeah, no, I I mean, being... okay. I'll admit I'm a hypocrite <laughs> in that regard. You, you got a wish from this, this random effect. This moment right here is very tense emotionally. I will not be a genie with your wish. I will yeah. just let you choose what you well, you still have yeah. bardic inspiration stuff or whatever else you want to do, so let that be a factor. Oh, God. The odd. In that case, I know there is an easy... I know there is an easy way of just a wish for my mom to be back. I know there's an easy way of just wishing for everyone to be back. But Tommy knows that none of those would be able to last long. Because the rift could accidentally kill mom, or the rift could accidentally get destroyed. Tommy wishes to make the most important wish he ever thought he could ever make. I'm just gonna say this as I Are gave Tommy inspiration. Tommy? Wait, what? Hmm? What? Tommy wishes that everyone in the rift who has suffered and lost a loved one. Okay, now okay, now I'm praising. That's what I meant. I wish mom and the villagers were back, and that the roof had set, and that Selena doesn't have to suffer anymore. That last sentence was important. Lima. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. and everyone. We're actually going to the and and this is a bit of divine intervention to reinterpret the wish on the act of your patron, Tommy. Because your patron told you the best way to resolve the rift. Lima, I'm going to need your last 3 saving throws. Oh boy! At least one of them has to be constitution, but it's your choice for either of them if they're constitution or charisma. You succeed oh. all three. Oh boy! Nice. So 20, 23, and 21 for the throws. Success, all three. Lima, you mm -hmm. feel an immense amount of power coursing into you. It's your power. It always was your power. And you feel the potion lose effect as this power swarms into you. And you hear in your head from Emil, good job. The rift swarms into Lima's body, and then is no more. I will not say you see the villagers or Tommy's mom, but Tommy, you can feel assurance that they are back. The guy's just kind of standing there confused while he was pointing his rod at, at um. What was, I guess, in the direction of both um, Neil Harker and Tommy. Lima! Just kind of looks standing and confused. Wait, hold on, real quick. Does the chaos elemental disappear? Yes. All of the elementals also surge into Lima. Lima. You are now a lesser idol. Oh! You and Emil. Your rage will no longer prevent spellcasting or concentration. You will no longer age, and you're immune to effects that would cause you to age. 
The summon elemental spell is a sorcerer spell for you, and you can choose to summon a chaos elemental with it. And if you would like, your humanoid type can change, or your creature type can change from humanoid to elemental. I would like to change my creature type, please. All of you are standing in a small forest. You feel the breeze, you hear the rustling of the trees. And Tommy, you know that your wish has gone off perfectly. That the villagers and your mom are all back alive. Although you cannot see them at this moment, because they are in the places where they perished. Neil Harker... no words. Neil Harker stands there stunned. What... was that? Ah! Uh, that's my kinda... good son! It's some cosmic bullshit. Zuko just kind of, uh, yeah, the right away going, I hope whatever you did, Tommy, I hope that worked. Oh, God, that was not easy. Lima, in your head, you can feel Emil's presence, although they are not there. They are not there physically, but they are there with you, and in your hand is your pocket watch. The manacles glow brightly and then shatter into a million pieces. You couldn't take the power when you were a child. It was too much. So it went out. But now you can. And you have me to help you. I was mad at you for lying to me, but I still love you like you're my twin, and I only wanted to help. <laughs> also, that, uh, that kid has definitely some potential to him. You should thank him. Lima and Mindscape is just hugging and just crying happily. I just, you have no idea. My 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 brain just exploded. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just happy I'm not feeling like you're with me. You're with me. You know they're all back, right? They are? Yeah. Well, we can't, probably should get our body back from being collapsed on the ground and KO'd. Meet them again. <laughs> so Zuko is just going to entirely fall on his back to the ground for a second. You could hear him laugh for a second. And he seems to whisper to himself something. That's what it means to be the good guy, I guess. I can't believe we just saved everybody. Tommy. Your father stands before you, stunned at what you just accomplished. He has no idea that your mother is alive. All he knows is that the rift has disappeared. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I, I don't know if we can hear you, Andrew, if you're talking. You always are trying to protect me, Dad. I'm not a child anymore. I understand now. People hurt. People die. It doesn't mean that we have to hurt other people to do it. Just to try to fix the past. Other people were suffering too. 
I didn't care if mom ever had resurrected. I didn't care if it was unfair and cruel. What I cared about was having my family. When you left, you left me alone. I never got to grow up. Because I didn't have my dad. Mom was still there. And you never noticed. But you nearly hurt yourself. You could have killed people. But if it weren't for you going that far, I wouldn't have realized what I needed to do. I had to be the one to help you. You needed help, Dad. You can't just push people aside and do all of it on your own. It doesn't have to be a... Zuko's just going to get up and stand next to Tommy to support what he's saying. He just stands there silently, like, supporting. Sometimes you need to have your friends and family at your back. To be there for you when you need it most. They will help you make the hardest decisions. And they'll help guide you when you start to see black. I know you were trying to do the right thing, Dad. He and will now you don't have to. He'll collapse onto his knees. Um hold on, sorry. Uh no. Sam, real quick, check your DM. Uh yeah, I was about to respond. Okay. He will just fall to his knees, questioning everything. It's time that. Make the most of what time you have again with mom. What do you mean again? I would apologize for turning these. But your son has a point. You should think on that. Tommy, what do you mean again? Think you said it. I brought order. I did what I wanted to do. I brought. I helped bring order to the rift. Lima is the one who got. I asked for them to bring back mom and the villagers, and so Lima didn't have to suffer anymore. Their magic. I felt it. They were screaming in hurt. And I knew if I just asked for mom that I would be selfish and that she would just get hurt again. I could have wished for her to be immortal, but that wouldn't have made anyone happy. And Lima was suffering. I said, every day, I've gotten to witness people hurt. Emotionally and physically. So I did the thing that I felt was right. I thought beyond just my own wishes. I thought of other people. In a sense, she's kind of like mom. Sure, she can be a bit emotional, stubborn, and rag on herself sometimes. All the time. But she cared about people just as much as mom did. So I wanted to do what I thought was impossible. I wanted to do both. I wanted to help you and her. So I chose the answer that would solve both our problems. I wish for Lima to have the strength to, con uh, to control the rifts, to not suffer anymore. And I wished for mom to uh, mom and the villagers to come back to undo what went wrong. Now go home to mom. She's waiting for you. Tell her, tell her thank you for always being with me. No matter where she went. And make the most of the time you have left. Don't let yourself go down this path again. I want to add to Tommy's sentence with a spell. What do you cast? I cast Bardic... Um, not Bardic expression, but um, Healing Word. On uh, Parker. 
Go home well, to mom. He starts for whatever just... damage he did take the entire time. I just kind of will add to the sentence with just three words to add to to add to Tommy's uh, statement. Life is precious. He starts to cry. How could I have been so stupid? <laughs> Did not realize what I had in front of me. And then he looks up at you, Tommy. You are. You deserve better than me. No. You made me. You already had the answer to bringing back mom. Both of you did. Both now go. Do. Go and be with mom. Maybe <laughs> even give me a brother or sister. If you say so, then. <laughs> Zuko just kind of chuckles for a second. <laughs> he will now go. Make people happy again. And don't regret anything, Dad. This is your second chance. Make the most of it. Spend time with Mom. Be happy. Don't look a gift, horse, in the mouth. Before I do so, I just have one thing to do. And he will take off his robes that he wore. His robes that are a symbol of the senior chamber of the Archmages. And he will walk over to Lima and offer it. I'm going to resign my position. But I believe you could make use of this item. It's power. And hopefully one day, it's station. Lou's going to interrupt him and just hug the halfling. It's all right. I, I understand. Just be safe, okay? And I do hope things go well. Just take the robe. Zuko just kind of looks at the robes and just thinks to himself for a minute. And then he just takes the robes and the holds them up neatly in her arms for now. Make use Not of wearing them. them yet. Make use of them. Zuko just kind of looks at the robes and chuckles a bit at the thought of he could have just taken them, but nah. He doesn't need them. And then Neil Harker will cast Teleport. While I would like for the session to go longer, I feel like there is no better end point than that. Well, I do actually have one thing I want to close with Zuko. Yes? Sorry. It's, a, it's a, surprising, a surprising sentence you want to hear him say. You were right about one thing, Tommy. Life is precious. And you made me think about something I wanted to do. He looks, he turns to Tommy with a smile and he says, if it's not too much trouble to you guys, I want to go find my sister. You have my uh, mm -hmm. friend. As Tommy puts out his hand to shake hands. I, I would like to first um, meet Andrew, my uh, with your, before we do so. Andrew, with your permission. Yes? Can we say that Tommy is a bit taller? More like as he was originally around four. Can we say that he appears now to be the size of a 12 year old? Yeah, I say that's fitting. Uh, and Lima, if you want to go to your village, you can. And. For both my prep's sake and expedi expediency's sake, um, we'll just kind of play it out as such. Uh, let me just grab mm -hmm. some fitting music. In fact... Honestly, I just realized probably the minute Tommy went through that whole thing about like why his mom would have wanted and this and that, as he just kind of was char hearing um, Tommy charged in the compassion and emotion, he remembered the day he actually helped his sister and all that. And so he kind of remembered everything just for a bit. And he just waited till the last minute just to say, Hey, Tommy, if it's not too much trouble, I want to go find my sister. Also, all of you have reached a milestone. You've leveled up to level six. Yes! And... Oh, 
Lima, you can add to your inventory robes of the Archmage. Will do. Oh, that would have been oh, cool boy. for me, but I don't think I wear robes anyway. Uh, I think you'd only have to attend to a spellcaster is the best part. It is Arc. sorcerer, warlock, or wizard. Ah, I could have wore it, but eh, I don't think I need them. So, picking up twin spell and settle spell. Those would be probably useful. The Shoot. town is wrecked. No one's been able to repair it, and the villagers are definitely confused. Be and Lima, they are all very confused with you. Because now you're 12 years older, but they're happy to see you nonetheless. There's party, there's a party, there's celebration, you get them caught up on what happened, but they all seem to want to what know about their lives again. Warlock? You get your level in, whichever you choose between the two. Would you say it's fitting for Tommy to still be a paladin? You made to your stay. pact, but you can still be a paladin if you would. You do not have to take warlock levels. You can even represent your pact. Honestly, just treat the pact like a covenant. Yes, or you could even represent it with the um, with the feet to get you an invocation. Yo, okay. So, do you want to know why my mind is so blown? Hmm. Because I f I felt like. If we did not get that wish, some things might have gone completely different. Oh yeah, I would have had to try and use another Warlock spell to try and keep uh, Harker immobilized so Tommy could do a thing. I had plans in motion without the wish. I had plans in motion without the wish. This was, ah. without the revival, what I was hoping would happen. <laughs> I had planned for Lima to, be, to absorb the rift, but uh, that wish definitely made things quicker and yeah <laughs> but yeah um, no uh archon's action economy has just increased yep uh do the re do you guys go and go get frederick before you go to the village frederick and yeah. adam yeah. yeah yes we do well, I guess this is a development, but so oh well. <laughs> so yeah, there's... Trust, Trust me. I am more lost than you. Apparently. Uh, when you reach the village, there's parties, there's celebration, there's getting to know each other. And... I think I know the best way to, uh, to use my level. Yeah. At the party, Tommy feels like he's learned a bit more about magic. Zuko, I think, is going to join the party and play a tune. I'm putting Easiest one. Uh, go ahead, Andrew. I'm going to put one point into Sorcerer. Oh! <laughs> oh! As. Tommy feels like he's grown. And it... it's and as a part of his pact, he sheds away the old self to make room for the new self. It feels a little bit more connected now with Mechanicus. <laughs> I was the one who suggested this build for Tommy and you initially refused. <laughs> Oh, I didn't have a good. Hey, I said I wasn't desperate enough yet, but now Tommy actually was. Also, I mostly suggested it for the flavor over actual build. <laughs> so and yeah, honestly, with the Probably amount of one more cantrip, it makes sense. I don't need. And also, okay, sure, I'll miss out some stuff with Paladin, but I see myself as more as the port role now than a fighter. Which was originally what I was gonna try to be. So uh, now I can make the point. 
<clears throat> everyone else is kind of festive. Archon is just sitting there because he he's a little homesick right now. Hey, what? Lima's gonna, Lima's gonna walk over to you and sit next to you and offer you some curry. My mother made it just now. What's up? Uh, Thank Master, you. is there anything wrong? Frederick will ask. Uh, all this talk about family and homes. I'm kind of missing mine. Zuko just kind of puts away his flute, rejoins the party. Honestly, that's why I wanted to go find my sister. Well, do we know where your sister is? Mr. Mamba? Okay, well, I'm gonna start heading. Approach, okay. The last we spoke, she wanted to be a maid. And, uh. Honestly, it suited her. She was a bit of a clean freak. <laughs> you know where she went? But. If I had to guess. Honestly, I kind of am gonna pitch it to the DM. Where do you think? On Fetchney. Yeah. On Fetchney, oh. probably. Uh. Uh, so, Archon is taking, uh, is just eating, uh, like, about to swallow the food, as you say, on Techni, and he immediately just spits it up. Frederick, <laughs> Frederick just looks around. <laughs> mm. I mean, this guy wanted Funny to enough. ski his home so bad, we might as well. Funny enough, that is where I live. Convenient. Well, Father, to... looks like I might be seeing you sometime soon. Well, let's just hope I you guess didn't. We have uh, our next destination. Let's just hope you didn't wipe out the competition too hard. <laughs> Zuko laughs a bit as he kind of picks up a mug of ale and takes a sip. I guess we have our next destination in mind. Is to another adventure. Do. But he raises maybe his glass. Wait, what was that, Lima? Uh, we do. Just, I prefer to kind of wait a bit before we head out. I would like to oh, no, no, make no, no. my go first, you know? Oh, go. heck no, we're not leaving right now. I'm going to need a break or two after today. <laughs> you all will hear the tremor of magic. As for, as three individuals appear in the town. Arc the Archmages Emma, Agatha, and Adelard. Uh, Zuko just kind of dropped his drink and he's like... Fuck. So wait, so he Ar Archon looks at Emma and Agatha and he's like, Oh, hello! And then he sees the other and he's like, And why do you have to be here? Zuko just kind of takes one look at all at the last one particularly. I mean, he notices the first two and doesn't pay much mind, but he sees the last two. The third guy, he's like, as he puts down his drink. Why does it have to be him? He just kind of slowly raises their hand up and waves. Hi, Lima dear. What ever happened? This is going to be a long story. I can help explain. Hi, I'm Tommy. Oh, Master Tinker Toy. Um, uh, Agatha was been, From what I understood, his mother gave him mechanisms so that he could grow. So he could experience growth like a like a human child, however, it seems his has been accelerated. Zuko kind of glances at Tommy with a sm and for once, you can actually see him smile. Zuko usually rarely smiles. Sorry about for that. Once, I, 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 it's... Accomplished something. Sorry about that. California summer's in the and it's hot, so I needed a fan on. <laughs> oh, no, oh yeah, good. no. I, speaking of fans, I need to turn mine on. I have my. Uh, I mean, luckily, I have my AC running. I have two, yeah, like, yeah, fans, on. fans on. But yeah, so. Adelar. Uh, well, Agatha and Emma actually get distracted by Tommy, 
Uh, Adelard is not, and he just walks right up to you, Lima. And notices the shackles are gone. Hey, don't I'm... mess with them. And you, you all will hear Amito's voice. Look, I appreciate it, but we're done with that now, alright? We have control of it. Zuko has a bit of a scowl on Adelar, but he does kind of respectfully nod at, uh, was it yeah. Agatha was the one he had somewhat of a respectful accord with? You had, you had an accord with Emma, and uh, Agatha was the one who showed up and you immediately insulted her. <laughs> he just kind of uh, looks at Agatha like, he's like, eh, yeah, I'm sorry. He uh, kind of just kind of walks up to her and just kind of taps her on the shoulder like, I gave it some thought. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, dear. Please don't call me that. I call everyone that. But if you don't you want it, what? then never mind. You if you what? don't want me to, if you don't want me to call you that, I won't. No, I had a bit of a second change of heart. I'm okay with it. Jello, well, change is always important. Jello, you realize eyes. as he kind of glances over at Tommy with a smile for once. A rarity on Zuko is he's actually smiling. Before, but as anyone tries to notice, he tries to immediately change it to a neutral like tone. You will notice that Adelard casts a spell after what Emil had said, and then he actually, for once, seems surprised. You. Oh, wait. Hey, that, that was Emil. The one that I mentioned before. And... You. How? I made a wish. And, and she's I, not I, that, and she's not as weak as you would pin her as. As he actually, what, Archon will actually get up in, into his face. Zuko just kind of stands next to, uh, stands like defensively over. Uh, it's, it's fine, everybody. It's fine. He kind of uh, stands uh, defensively uh, in front of uh, Emil and all that, just being like, "Are you really going to look a miracle in the mouth?" Uh, it's fine, everybody. Just me, Emil, and Adelard will talk for a bit. What's up? Not much. Kind of in the middle of a thing. Richard, you're unmuted. Mute yourself. Sorry. Just mute, yeah. Sorry, no, I just had to. Uh, I it's had fine. To... It's fine. Just, yeah. just in the future, mate, mute yourself first. <laughs> yeah, my apologies. <laughs> oh, yeah. How is this possible, Solomon? You... The rift is closed. How do we know you won't do it again? How do we know that... <sighs> you just see utter confusion on his face at the whole scenario. Tommy walks up and says, Because he's under my protection. This is Lima we're talking about here. She's stubborn as all hell. If she wanted to do it, she would have done it already. If she wanted to stop someone, even if it means dragging you by the ear, he says with a groan. He smirks. He would have done it already. He just kind of takes for a minute and kind of glares at Lima for a second and keeps his attention focused on the Archmage. So what is this scenario now? And then Emil will once again speak. We are the Chaos Bringers. We have control of our power. And we hope we can get along with all of you. Hopefully. Hey. Lima, I have a question. Yes? I know it might sound a bit selfish, but... Did I use the ropes? I want to learn to be like my dad. Lima happily hands them over, are removing them from my inventory. It makes sense for it to be more carried down to the sun than a stranger. And delete. Now you have the ropes of the Magi instead. I think it's more appropriate this way. And it feels cathartic in a sense. It feels right. I'm, 
I made an oath to do what's right, to help others. Not just to redeem them, but to help people when they're in crisis. I see now that I need to do a lot more than just simply learn the basics of fighting. Prayer can only get you so far. Action is needed as well. You taught me that. I feel he would be a better Archmage than most, with all due respect to the three of you. We could all use someone with his conviction and compass. That is what my mom made for. Because I don't exactly what I'm magic. Uh. Sometimes you need a little bit of both. Get all the way. Adelard will then sit down at the table opposite of you, Lima, and gesture for you to sit. Help me understand all of this. It's a long story. Lima will ask uh, Emil to help explain what to we did. Emil is able to speak on the finer spiritual aspects of what happened. While you all are able to talk about what you experienced, Emil is able to talk about what happened to the Rift and what this new existence means for the both of you and for the area. So, yeah. Hopefully that helps you out. Lesser idol. It does appear you have much growing to do, however. <laughs> hey, if there's anyone who is grown. So I may quickly roll a religion check to understand what lesser idol means more in Lima's mind. Yes. 19. Okay. 19. Yeah. Lesser idol is full on deity. <laughs> so, in other words. Oh my goodness. Dude. God you of... might become the god of your village. He was gonna freeze up and process this, this with a meal. It's like, oh. I mean. You can. It's what we are. Yes, it is. <sighs> it's a little bit worrying, but hopefully we do our best, right? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's all, all we can, can do. do. <laughs> you still hear me? I, 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 no, yeah, I'd, I'd love it. it. I'd love it if Lima's kind of like speaking out loud and then Zuko and Emil answered at the same time just like that. That would be perfect. You want to retcon that to happen? Yeah, that, yeah. that, that is amazing. I think we that. Retcon that into existence. You're the DM. Yep, yep, that happened. Are we in agreement to retcon? Yep. Yep. We okay, just talk to that again. What? Archon's gonna do. look at both, look at both you and Lima, and be like, "Okay, that was freaky." The, none of you, you none of you else, like none of, a little unsettled for oh, a second. Oh, no one else like, heard that? No one else heard that. Emil? Everyone heard Zuko say, like, it's all you can do. No one else heard that Emil also said it at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. But, yeah, you know, just, you uh, Zuko just kind of looks, when everyone's looking at him, he just looks confused for a second, like, what? Lima's just like, chuckling happily. He's like, <laughs> Ad Adam will then come, come on, up to you. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> what? You and Emil both did that at the same time. It's hilarious. Who? What? I mean... Zuko's confused. <laughs> Zuko's <laughs> sitting there confused. Sorry for laughing that much, Emil. Adam will humans. then come up to you all. Uh, so, I could go back to the academy, but if you all would like to, to continue traveling with you, I wouldn't mind. Um, actually, if you can help us find a faster way to Itechni, there's someone I'd like to see. 
Uh, the quickest way would be through. Uh, damn it! Oh. Rain! <laughs> would be through oh. Sylvania. Over the hills. It's a personal matter that I need to see someone. We could have you teleported to one of the major locations, but if you would prefer to travel, you would have to go through Sylvania. Honestly, I mean, if you can teleportation if you can... doesn't sound bad. Yeah. At this point, it's been a long I day. Think... Yeah. Plus, it might be good to actually move around and kind of enjoy the forest and scenery for a bit instead of constantly rushing again. Well, it, either way, would you like me to continue traveling with you, or would you prefer to go alone? If you want to join with us, I don't mind at all. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm on. honestly 50-50, so I'm indifferent. Whatever you guys choose. I mean, if you want to want join us, if you want to join us, that'll be fine. But just know that the moment we enter my town or my city, uh, we're putting some muscle on them bones of yours, Adam. <laughs> oh, I don't I'm need, need muscle. I don't need muscle. I have <sighs> magic. Boy, trust me, you're gonna need it. <laughs> I'm guessing that applies to everybody. It also means I'll get someone to teach me a thing or two on how to use magic. Oh! <sighs> you're, you've taken well, up learning? Or... I think I'm starting to get a better grasp of it after that rift. Something clicked. Huh. And I think I found something I want to do. Very well, then. On that note, Zuko picks up his tankard. I'd like to ha say a few words. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm raising a glass to the one person who not only changed what could have went completely wrong today, but also, I feel, changed me slightly. This Tommy. one goes to Tommy. Here's to you, kid. You learned it. Hey, hey. You go just immediately down, hey, the, down the entire pint and then sits back down. And he's just thinking, well, on that note of change, I have to think about what I'm going to say to my sister. Uh, I think he tries to drink it and proceeds to spit it out. <laughs> going. Uh, I think that. Tommy, yeah. I don't think you were necessarily supposed to drink it, but you know what? I'm not even gonna question it. I, I, it's it's been a day. I think that they would be a with... fantastic place to end the session. That is yeah. perfect. I like to do something. This feels though. weird with Zuko actually being wholesome. What a fucking uh, change. Never. Uh, I like. Never. Uh, Joe, did Lima have something she want they wanted to do? They'd like to go to Agatha and Emma and ask them a favor real quick. Uh, yes? Can you help my, uh, village get back on their feet and make sure that they're sheltered and well until <sighs> they are able to get, you know? I, uh, Emma will start first. I have to maintain the guard, but... Oh, yes, of course, I can help with reestablishing the village, repair and trade routes and all that. People who can help? Thank you. Uh, I'd, I'd gladly give you some of my uh, gold to help kickstart up a little bit more. I don't think anybody's sick, are they? <laughs> well, your gold is appreciated. Uh, Lima will hand them yeah. about 190 other gold. Oh! <laughs> this will surely help reestablish the village. Uh, uh, Lima, I, the, Lima, you're. Uh, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know some people who can help, help populate the town guard until they get militia started again. I think I know you. After all, I know my I, friends. I think I know you're talking about too. <laughs> After all. Destroyed one village. May as well give them a chance to protect another. Yeah. Also, do you think they're, anyone's gonna want to mess with them? I doubt they want to mess with no. <laughs> uh, at, uh, so I have a camera, I have to pick up. Yeah. Adam, uh, Lima, your parents will come over once again to kind of 
uh, brain. <laughs> Your parents would come over again and kind of get caught up more with you and you and meet Emil. And at a point, Emil will explain the situation and then your parents will go. Your parents will ask, I mean, if you're... I, 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 all of a sudden your father just goes, well, I guess we have a, uh, I guess we can be a tourist village. This <laughs> is your hometown after all. Yeah. Lima just hugs their parents tightly crying happily. I miss you so much. <laughs> For us, it was just a day. It's good to see you happy again, your mother will say. So, should we build you a temple or something? No, 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 no temples, please. It's, I'm, I'm just happy to just be your daughter. So, I can see you safe again. Okay. Zika just kind of walks up to the Archmages while looking over at the family scene. It's just like. <laughs> A happy family, huh? Yeah. Indeed. All our memories to me. I... I'm just gonna yeah. undo See the hug real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help the rest of my party deal with what they need to do first, and then I'll try to settle down and help out even more here. Alright? <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Uh, your dad will just say, Gotta get to work on that temple sometime. <laughs> dad? <laughs> she just gives him a light little pat in the shoulder. What? I expect you to continue doing what you did originally. <laughs> and a temple to my you child would be the perfect place to do that. Yep. <laughs> You're... <laughs> it's just... You deserve it. Hmm. I, I I think now now we should definitely cut before we keep going forever. Before it drags <laughs> on any further. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna keep going. Yeah. We, we had like three time. different cut gonna... points, and now now I'm calling it. Now I'm calling it. This time yeah. for real. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not, not, that, that, not that it was that dragging is, on, it's... It is, for real, this time we need to stop. Yeah. Not, not that it was dragging on, but okay. just like, it's it's been so, it's been an episode so full of perfect endpoints, and it's kept going. God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Thank, thank you, guys. I just like the different direction I took Zuko. Holy shit. Thank you guys for that session. That was great. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> thank you. This, this was a crazy world right here. Holy crap. Oh, the bardic inspiration and then the wish. Oh my god. And Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. Oh, and, and when I actually oh, talked man. to Tommy at the beginning, I was like, oh, we're going to do something big. Everyone had good moments that session. <laughs> oh, oh. I did I not expect it all. <laughs> that, that, was, that was a session that was so good because of you guys, so thank you so much for it. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be worse. <laughs> I was preparing for it to go to Shadow. It was... <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to say, it. If, if my original plans kept going, it was probably going to be a lot sadder. <laughs> So God, having having that too. having um, that wish and Jack giving it to Tommy, mayo and avocado, yeah, and, and it's like I doubt uh, those rolls. Having the that was actually let me, let me, just reviewing that chain of events. Just reviewing that chain of events because it was Tommy getting in front of his dad to block his attacks, and then Neil Harker going, "I don't need." I can go around anything in my way. That is what caused the wish. Yep. Oh, oh it was so poetic. This is I why know. D&D is awesome. I know. Why do you think uh, I was saying my brain just exploded? Yeah. <laughs> because God. all of that happened off a chi off of a chi a chaotic uh, off of a wild surge. Yep. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm expecting the worst. I was the original plan. I was gonna try and stop Harker by paralyzing him, but that was better than I was hoping. Holy shit! If that shit, didn't I work, I was gonna try and actually knock him out. I oh. I was I was hoping with hideous laughter though that it was because that was the first spell cast since that effect went off. I was hoping that it would affect you instead. Here's the thing though. I, the reason why I was screaming at my at screaming because again, Joe, you have silvery barbs. Yes, I knew, but part of me was going. I feel like Ligma's gonna be completely focused on digging the stuff in rather than, Fair. you know, yeah. Fair. Yeah. As much as I would have wanted another shot with Zuko paralyzing it, that, if it weren't for the, I honestly like the wish ending better, because I feel like Tommy saved it when Zuko failed. <laughs> also, in regards to why Hark Neil gave his robes to Lima, it's like, you've been the one suffering, you, like, it, it, it's it's your suffering that we're dealing with right now, and so I'm passing it yeah, on no, to totally. you. Yeah, he, he, it made more sense. And then he also didn't know that Tommy was gonna take levels in Sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, that's but, fair. I, I, I kind of like the idea of like Lima's like, okay, you're trying to growing, and this will help you out a little bit more in that growth. Gives it to them so they actually can get the proper channeling kind of working out because yeah, that would actually help. But yeah, that. Thank but you guys. Had to make the toast because Bard. Thank Zuka you guys. Had to make the toast for Bard. <laughs> Thank you guys for the wonderful session. Hopefully, we're able to meet up next week. Um, also, oh, thank you gone, for yeah. thank you for the follow, Lil Bun Ruru. Thank you. I uh, didn't want to interrupt the game to thank the followers, but now I can because it's over. And now to find a raid target. By the way, just just the sheer coincidence. I, I'm pretty sure you you did it that way for the coincidence, huh? Oh, did what what way? Uh, uh, Zuko's sister being in on Techni. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, okay. The the reason she was in on Techni was actually less for the coincidence and more for what I want to the idea I had for where you find her. Ah, okay. But Honestly, then, but then I, the coincidence is like yes, that I'll... that works. Honestly. I just wanted Zuko's sister to be a maid named Dusuk, just for the reference, please. Anyway, we are please. going to start the raid. Thank you to the players. Thank you to everyone who showed up to watch. Uh, and thank you for the follow. I'm going to need to calm down from this session. I'm going to need to calm down from this session. And Lima, uh, Joe, I will get you your lesser, I lesser idol features as a custom beat in D&D Beyond. Hot damn. So, what yeah. a session, y'all. Thank you, everyone. Oh, boy. We just kicked ass back there. Was not... <laughs> I was not expecting that. Hi, guys. I don't think anybody was. Hello. I'll admit. I am... Andrew is happy. He did good. Yeah, Also, Holy thank you shit. for... Yep. I think that last sentence really, really was important. Oh yeah, that last sentence was important because oh, it, yeah. because Sorry. because if, if if you didn't say like Leva stop suffering, I wouldn't have been like okay, let's just get it out of the way now. It would have been they come back and then Lima still has to do the ritual. <laughs> but so, you were attempted to do a bit of a. I'm looking for. But I don't blame you. That's fair. That's fair. I'm looking forward to changing humanoid from humanoid type to elemental because that's actually kind of neat. 